Hello, Buzzcocks. My name is Hotsusti, and welcome back to Factorio. We are right where we finished last time. Well, maybe a bit later uh, because I have set up uh, two requests one for construction robots and then for some uh, storage chests. Uh, we also have one uh, of these robot ports here and it's placed rather in the middle so that we can basically have one of those per square and they cover the area where all the goods are provided so we can pick things up. But today is about expansion because our iron ore field um, not so good anymore. Uh, we need more iron. Um, and this is also true for copper, uh, which is also a bit uh, awkward located here, uh, right on the intersection. So mining it is not that easy, uh, but we need more if we want to, to expand. And if we expand, we will unfortunately also expand our pollution. Uh, so we need to deal with some further nests. Uh, these are already at the, at the border of our pollution. But if we want to grab these fields down here, uh, we have to deal with, with nests down here. We probably also want to have more oil soonish. And then up here there are some more nests. So in order to prepare for that, we will need a better uh, armor. Uh, and the next level there we need some processing units and we can actually uh, build a bit of that here on uh, this side um, let's actually bring here another thing in so we can have green circuits then one, two, three, four, five, six. Um, this is not really uh, for mass production, um, and We really don't need that big amounts. It's more like to have something on hand when I need it to, to handcraft things that I want to have. So let's connect that up to here. And then we need more inserters and power and actually a wooden chest would be sufficient don't have any wood it's a bit bad I know where I can find wood. There are chests full of wood all over the place. So here we have it. That's four stacks. So that's that. Um, we also need A 
electro motors. And the second factor is we need something to kill um, the, the aliens. And while well, we did a bit of research to, uh, to improve our ammunition, uh, we have a bit more uh, damage here. Um, also plus side on the, on the uh, turrets. Um, but I'm thinking we will go in and use the power of lasers. We have enough power, so if we manage to uh, lay down a, a power line uh, and then basically place down substation and spam um, the uh, um, and spam the laser turrets. Uh, we are good to go. So, laser turrets. Um, batteries. Green circuits. Wooden chest. Um, and... Well, I can do a small power pulls here. And this will take a while until our battery production will catch up to that. And meanwhile, um, We can then, what we need here is 40-20. So, well, we wait on that. Um, yeah, let's wait and see what we got. We need the, uh, the armor uh, and then we probably also want some goodies in the armor. I do have some construction robots, which means I should also have get myself a, a robot port at night, which would be nice. And then we need uh, uh, solar panels and, uh, and batteries. I have equipped myself with a somewhat useful uh, armor. We have a bit of speed with the exoskeleton lots of power, night vision, and then the personal robot port um, for a good measure. And I think 100 laser turrets will be sufficient. And we will deal with the, this around here and see where this, this connects down there. And I think we will start by going out this way and then we will have to see how we do with uh, with the with the power uh, supply so let's head over there and see how badly we are doing now we ha we have the the power until here and we can see a substation does not reach uh, entirely in there. So what we will have here is a bit of a, a line of defense uh, with ordinary uh, turrets. And we can go in, uh, have one more. There, retreat, and hopefully they manage to wipe things out. Oop, I need a bit of fish. Okay, and then we can 
torches and these. And I'm not enabling the, the robots because they are too slow to do the, the repairing. So. Okay, that went quite well. So now Libby can let the, the robots repair. And down here we have the next nest. We also probably want to clear out this edge here, which is probably um, more biters. And maybe I need a few more repair packs. Yes. And. Um, Let's pack everything up and go to the next nest. And this was probably on the bigger size. At least I, I would hope. Yes, here we have a line of uh, spitters can deal with them this way. That works quite nicely. Now on to the next nests down there. And from here on it's basically rinse and repeat. And I think I will bring you back a little when we have something interesting down here or when we make our way over to this side. We have made it all the way over here. Along the way there were some biter nests but nothing too extreme. So here we still have a bit uh, of a way to go. to set up a bit of a perimeter here so we can then range upwards. down the south they are a bit annoying oh. can also make a second one and then Let's repair and let's also take out this nest up here and probably 
down there as well because this pollution over the water can grow and with what we have uncovered here we have two uh, additional iron ore patches we have a large copper one uh, this one as well but I think we will deal with these first as this is more in the area where we uh, have uncovered things yet and uh, clean, uh, clean out uh, the area. So I will, I will finish uh, up here and then next time uh, we can think about expanding uh, our factory because it was not only um, about uh, connecting up new ore patches but if we add in more production here that also means we produce more pollution and um, that could aggravate uh, our friendly neighbors here as well so i hope you enjoyed this episode and join me next time when we will be once again building some more things <laughs>